Hello, everybody. Good morning. My time is 7 a.m. We will start in one minute. Okay, one person is watching. Um, we will start in 10 seconds. All right. So this is the question, the first question, how to get the indicator. I think you are asking for this one, correct? this one so you need to open your terminal ctrlt open your terminal and then go to main and then click here you be free you need to take markets okay when opening this thing it will become quite slow free all level it's quite heavy if you opening this thing color level okay so if you want this thing search follow level this one okay just click this thing and then you need to download okay it's uh, it is free download just make sure your account is a live account and you must have some deposit in it okay you must have some deposit uh, to download okay uh, this is free but uh, you need to have a live account to download okay Mm. Right. It all selected. Mm. For any question, you can ask in Telegram. For any question, and ask in Telegram because is faster I will only see this group okay do not look there's a lot of DM that I ignore so just make sure you DM me in the group 
okay because one two three four five is the only one that i pin so this is the most important one for me okay so let's start with our lesson on st4 okay so shadow code type 4 or st4 pattern is a pattern that almost look similar to st1 or shadow code type 1 but does not have to be side by side and the st4 pattern is also known as the name of qm shadow okay the only this one become the qm okay this one st4 as a supply zone this one st4 as a demand zone uh this one i sell i sell here got an example One thousand. Okay, this one I sell up to here. Okay, this is a uh, selling. Okay, I sell up to here and buy again. Okay using st4 this is also st4 this is also st4 use this one and this one this one and this one and you got your entry there okay so that's it for st4 okay so this one is quite simple actually let me draw What is the difference between ST and ST4? This one I just draw randomly. one level okay st1 mm, i think i need to separately one two st1 blue
SD1 This is SD for zone. Okay. So the difference is SD1 criteria must be side by side must be above Open or close. Mm. That's it, I think. Oh, ST1 is a level. ST1 cannot float. Mass sniper. Okay, it a uh, mass. Okay, you you can cut loss at one pips to two pips using ST one, but on ST four. Okay, ST four criteria. Mass. As a necessary B to B side by side shadow must be of different height shadow must be above S and R shadow mass yes I don't want you to be confused it's okay later you will see um ST for is a zone so you can put in the area okay stop loss above So this is the zone. screenshot this first oh damn oh. For ST4 is quite simple actually. So, if there is any discussion, we will be di discussing in session two. But it's actually easier compared to ST1. Okay. 
Okay. Mm, so we already know. Oh, the, uh, the difference between ST1 and ST4. So we just need to find in the live chart. Okay. So for ST1, GBP cat H4, you can enter a position here using ST4, ST4Z. Okay. This is a signal using ST4Z. You can wait for entry here. And this is also a ST3. So you got confluence. So you can find your ST1 here. Okay. You can wait for an entry here. Or up here. Okay. So let's find our ST4Z in the previous market. Okay. Mm -hmm. We got one example. Okay. We take this shadow and this shadow. This is SD4Z. Different in two shadow. Okay, let's find another one. Mm -mm. Okay, this also is ST four Z. We take this one. And this one. Okay. So let's see. Over here we got another one. This one. Let's see if we can find any entry. Not yet. Okay. So it's too far. If you're learning the market structure, I will not recommend you to enter at this level because it is too far. Okay. We want to trade something over here. Okay. All right. Let's find another one. This one I delete first. Okay. This one. Can try oh, over here. This is ST4. Let's see if we can find any entry. Okay. Do we have a rejection? We have our entry here. Just for a moment. One, it dropped about 40 pips. Okay. Over here. I got my, this is M30 Great. Cat JPY mm. Okay, this happened this morning Okay, it dropped but It just went up so I will just ignore this Okay, maybe It will go over here This Yes. Okay. So just let that be. Sometimes I also float. Mm, let's find our ST4. Mm -mm. Okay, this one. 
this is also SD4. Oh, I did not make any screenshot yet. Okay, this color level, you just go at navigator and then go to indicator. You search market. Okay, you can find color indicator, just drag it there. Okay, so let me proceed. Okay, so we take this shadow and this shadow and this is our ST4Z or ST4Z ST4Z right click save as picture Mm -hmm. This one might have a loss here. Okay, this is a losing trade. This will SL or stop loss. Okay, this will stop loss. It's okay, let's find for demand. Can we get our entry here? Or is it too far? Hmm, can we get our entry here? This is... But I will not put this in the assignment because it is not a good example. Okay, this is our ST4, you got your entry there, and just go about 500 pips, okay, it's okay, uh, let's, let's find a better one, a better example. Mm -mm -mm. I want to find for demand. Mm. This is too far. This is a correct one, but it's too far. Eh? Where is it? This one. This is a correct one, but it's too far away. I want to take an example in just one picture. Hmm. Do I want to take this one? This one, no. Want something beautiful. Mm. This is good. 
this is also this look like st1 but we will use it as st4 when we use it as a zone so you can float okay sometimes st1 should not be this big okay but you can take this as your st4 okay let's see if we can have our entry here one two yeah i change color We take this one and this one. So this is our ST for Z. Save as picture. Mm, five, six. This one. Stop loss. It stop loss. It's okay. Let's find other one. Mm -mm -mm. This one. So it can be either on the left or the right. Okay, it doesn't matter. Yes. E. T. Save as picture. Okay, seven. This one is it too far? This is also ST four. Okay. This is a fail one. You need to remember you need to always use market structure that you learn on chapter three. Okay. Because if you do not understand that, you will find fail setup. Okay. So, okay, this uh, for bad test, we just draw what we can find. Okay. Okay. This one, oh damn, this one, and it become as the four Z. Is there any question? No. If there is no question, I will end the webinar. Just remember this one. 
I will post this in the homework section. Okay. If there is no more question, I will end the webinar in one minute. SD is shadow codes. Right. So you can have SD1, SD2, SD3. Okay, for example, we have AUD USD. Okay, this is SD3, which means shadow codes.